It must be then if myosin is going to pull on actin, there must be a binding site for myosin to actin. Okay. And there's <coughs> actin has an active site that myosin binds to. And as soon as myosin would bind to actin, it would change shape to 45 and pull. Now, right now at rest, most of your muscles are relaxed, right? So that means most of your filaments don't have myosin bound to actin, do they? Because if they did, what's it going to do? Contract. And most of your muscles are relaxed. So to prevent muscle contraction, what we do is we cover up these binding sites with another protein. And the protein that covers up the binding sites is a protein called tropomyosin. Tropomyosin. So tropomyosin covers up the binding sites on actin, preventing contraction. So it's something physically in the way. It's like if Armand is at actin and I'm myosin and I really want to grab a hold of him to pull on him, because that's what I prefer to do, I have to physically put something in between us to prevent me from doing that, so that I can stay relaxed. Otherwise, I love him so much, we have such an affinity for each other, that if I do to him, I will. That sounds weird. So we need to prevent that from happening. And that's how you prevent contraction, is by just wedging <coughs> something in between. This is what I do when my daughter brings home some guy I don't want. <laughs> I'm the trouble mice. In the way. Getting in the way. Now, attached to tropomyosin is another protein that's called troponin. And they don't occur by themselves. So you will hear me often just say the troponin tropomyosin complex. And it is the troponin tropomyosin complex that is in the way. So calcium must serve to do what? If you said calcium contracts, calcium must do what? Moving. Yeah. Calcium must be important in getting it out of the way. So without calcium, it's in the way. With calcium, it moves out of the way. And as soon as it moves out of the way, what do I do? Myosin grabs a hold of actin, pulls on, and I get muscle contraction. Is that okay with that? All the time. Just some terminology. Tension is force. Makes sense, right? Load. Uh, this is more of a biomechanic issue, right? Load is the uh, weight or force that's opposing contraction. So if I wanted to lift a 10 kilogram dumbbell, my load is 10 kilograms. That means the effort that my muscle generates to move it must be greater than that, right? Otherwise, I'm not going to move it. Um, Contraction, generate tension, relaxation, release tension, sliding filament theory is the mechanism by which muscles contract. All right, now, I'm going to walk you through this because it's a cycle, right? Power stroke cycle. It doesn't really have a beginning and an end because it is a cycle. Where I'm going to start with my step number one, I think is a little bit different than where the author of the textbook likes to start with step number one. Okay. Um, and 